Hello, a little heat wave in Macomb right now as Western Illinois stays hot. The men have won five in a row now after a sweep of Denver over the weekend. Will Carius has scored 20 plus points in five of the last six for the Leatherneck men. The Western women have won three in a row now. Danny Nichols with 24 points on Saturday as the Leathernecks take two at home from Denver. But everybody on the women's side still chasing South Dakota State. The Jackrabbits take two at Oral Roberts. Maya Selland is the player of the week for the sixth time already this season. She had a season high 30 for the Jacks on Friday and SDSU is now 10 and 0 in league play. South Dakota keeping pace. The Coyotes are 8 and 2 after a sweep at North Dakota. Hannah Shervin 14 points, 9 rebounds in game 1, 24 and 10 in game 2 for Shervin. And Kansas City takes two at home against Omaha. The Roos make 28 three-pointers in those two games, 11 of those by Mandy Willems. And Kansas City is now fourth in the standings at six and five in summer league play. Meanwhile, back to the men. Things just got tight at the top after North Dakota takes two at home against South Dakota. Ben to Panoam, a career high 25 points on Friday, 22 more on Saturday, and North Dakota moves to seven and seven. USD is nine and three in the league, and they are tied at the top right now with North Dakota State and South Dakota State. The Jacks six and two, but technically, uh, technically tied by win percentage. SDSU and Oral Roberts trade double digit wins in Tulsa. Max Acemus completely entirely in the zone for 42 points on Friday. That's the second highest point total in Division I this season. Ace missed 30 more points on Saturday. He is the college insider mid-major national player of the week, but the Jackrabbits do get the split. Baylor Shireman doubles up again with 22 points and 11 rebounds and seven assists. And in Kansas City, Brandon McKissick, a career high 29 on Friday as the Roos stack up back-to-back -back wins over Omaha. Check out thesummitleague.org for all the scores and standings in hoops, volleyball, soccer, and softball and golf all going right uh, now in the Summit League.